Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. We're going to look at modern textual criticism and what it's kind of devolved into. So thanks for being here. Join us daily. Share with your friends, family, church family, and hit the bell notification when you subscribe. Do check out our other videos, too. And uh, I think I said join us daily. So let's get started here We're on Textus. Uh, hyphen receptus.com textus hyphen receptus.com and he says on here modern textual criticism is focused on a narrowing field uh, to a few corrupted and rejected manuscripts sidestepping the huge amount of Greek and Latin manuscripts and the early church witnesses as unimportant only to be used when they can be referenced to try to give some support to the Vaticanus primacy corruption so this is how it worked we have, you know, Erasmus knew about Vaticanus. Vaticanus quite possibly was a palampest that came westward from the fall of Constantinople. It has no provenance. Nobody really knows where it came from. We do know that um, drop cap letters really weren't in use before about the 10th century and Vaticanus claims to be from the 4th century and some say even before that or copying a 2nd century with the diacritical marks out there manuscript but it could be a very late forgery or something that was so bad because vellum which is very high quality animal skin is so valuable that they were going to scrape it and reuse it just like they did Sinaiticus. So basically, when Westcott and Hort went to redo the King James, they gave Vaticanus primacy. They wouldn't let really anybody see Vaticanus till about 1861 when it was allowed to be seen in a, a large scale way and brought out by uh, Tischendorf, I believe it was. And uh, when they were trying to decide what readings were correct, they almost always uh, sided with Vaticanus. And this is continued to this day, that almost all modern Bible translations are based upon the primacy of Codex Vaticanus with some uh, minor variations. And then Sinaiticus would be secondary. This would be called Aleph and BB is Vaticanus. Aleph is Sinaiticus, which Sinaiticus almost certainly is a forgery. I remember the first time somebody tried to tell me that. I was like, that is the biggest, stupidest thing I've ever read in my life and heard in my life. That's just terrible. And so I started doing research to deconstruct the idea that Sinaiticus was a forgery. I was going to defend Codex Sinaiticus, saying it was originally done in the 300s AD, even though I disagreed with it textually. But lo to my surprise, if you study it objectively, it's, it's got to be a forgery. There's really no doubt about it. Um, so anyhow, um, and so the rejection of lectionaries, the rejection of other languages, unless it proves their point, they just reject it. The rejection of early church writers and all of this, other Christian in a broad sense writers. It's really an anachronism fallacy, false definition to speak of Erasmus, Stephanus, and Bizet to be doing textual criticism, since their value were in the general opposite those of Greisbach to Hort to Metzger to Wallace confusions. They based themselves on mostly the Greek and Latin manuscripts, the early church witnesses, with some faith consistent logical grammatical type of internal evidence considerations. This is essentially the opposite of textual criticism as used today, which has a biased presupposition towards Vaticanus and Sinaiticus. So again, they said, you know, modern textual scholars say nobody's ever had a Bible, a, a perfect Bible, Bible's not perfect. We're trying to piece the Bible back together by scraps we find somewhere unused things. Whereas they were saying, forever Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. My words are not gonna pass away. But the Bible's been dynamically used all around the world from the time of the apostles, even the time of Peter, he knew Paul's writings were 
inspired and that they were just transmitting this trying to make sure there was an accurate representation dotting every i crossing every t so to speak so god willing tomorrow if we don't have any more technical difficulties we're going to be going into the old testament textus receptus so god bless you thank you so much for being here love the word of god we'll see you later bye-bye